guys and welcome to the channel. This is Garage Denali. So it is early Sunday morning right now and I'm on my way to my friend John's house because we are making another run to the junkyard. So John ultimately needs to get some parts for his truck, his 86 F-150 and uh, he's also looking to score some parts for his 96 Cherokee. So uh, predominantly we're going because he's looking for some parts from his interior so as you guys may have seen in the last couple videos I made about that truck it's a pretty good looking truck and he's done a pretty good job with it and uh, he's looking at uh, fixing the interior up a little more you know getting a nice tan color because what he has on the interior he actually painted and uh, he's not really too crazy about what he has right now so he said well I want to change it up I want to make it look factory just make it look good again good as new so we're going to the junkyard and we're gonna see if we can get a nice dashboard and uh, some other parts last time we were there in my other uh, uh, junkyard video we saw quite a few uh, uh, bullnose style other body style OBS brick nose trucks uh, basically we saw a lot of trucks from 1980 up to 1996 so uh, specifically he's looking for a bullnose interior and we saw quite a few of them so that's what we're doing right now I am on my way to my friends John John's house so we are uh, gonna be there momentarily but uh, it's gonna be a fun day first before we get to John's house we have to make a quick stop at Wawa and get some breakfast so uh, it's gonna be a two-hour drive so we figured we'll just get some breakfast and eat it on the way there so let's go ahead and do that. So I am getting a, not a hoagie, not a bowl, but a burrito. Scrambled eggs, sausage, customized cheddar. This thing is not really working. Cheese, hash browns, yes. Next, next, one. So guys, we are taking John's truck to the junkyard, so it should be pretty exciting. We haven't really taken the truck in a, a while. He hasn't taken the truck in this long of a trip, so it's good to get the exercise, but as you can see how good it looks with the uh, wheels and tires he recently put on, all the chrome accenting. So he just did a larger fuel tank on this a couple days ago, and he also fixed the heater core, I think it was. So. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, put it to the test and uh, get the truck moving, get some miles on it, so it's going to be a fun trip. We uh, we took the truck before to the junkyard a couple years ago, and back then, you know, it was still gray, original wheels and tires, the engine didn't really run as smooth as it did now, so now it's going to really purr down the highway, so I'm uh, pretty excited about it. Okay, so we are finally on the road, so as you can see, we are well on our way. We're taking the truck, like I said earlier, so uh, we're going to put some miles on it, give it a little bit of exercise, so it doesn't really get to travel this much of a distance, so we figured, yeah, why not just get it running, get the parts moving. So, uh, as you can see here, we got a mismatched interior, we got a bunch of different colors here, so John's looking to get a nice dashboard, preferably a whole interior if he can find one, so the door panels, dashboard glove box, all kinds of other trim, so nice little project. So we are on our way. We're going back to New Ringgold, so that's about a two hour drive at the most. So somewhere up in the Poconos where the mountains are, so we're on our way and the truck's running pretty good. So uh, he got that bigger fuel tank added on, so we got a couple more uh, miles of range, so that's good. So uh, we'll keep you guys updated as we progress. So we are finally here at the junkyard and uh, we found a few trucks that John's looking for. We found a few Dakotas which he needs a couple parts for his uh, other truck, his dad's truck. 
But yeah, we're just gonna take a quick glance around, see what we can find. We did find an 85 F250 with a tan interior, which we're most likely going to come back to. But we're gonna go ahead and keep uh, searching around to see what we can find here. And uh, just as John said, I think we might be hitting the jackpot today as far as parts, so uh, bring you guys along. So we found a decent candidate here where we can remove the dashboard from, so you can see it's a black interior. Granted, color doesn't matter, because John can always go ahead and paint it. Um, I did tell him, have you ever thought of doing black? Because honestly, you can never go wrong with black. So this dash cap right here, dash cover is cracked, but it's not a problem. This can be removed and replaced. But overall, the dash is not too terrible. So um, this is one candidate. We've seen two other trucks so far that we can uh, consider pulling the dash from and other interior pieces like this trim up here. So just uh, giving you guys a little update as to where we are right now. So we are looking at another bullnose truck and uh, we've pretty much scored with this one mostly because you can see we got a nice dash pad here. It's in pretty good condition. Now mind you, this is an 81, so this truck is 37, 38 years old, 39 years old almost, and uh, we were able to find something that looks this good. So it's, it's not perfect, of course, but it, overall it's pretty good. And it looks like it's got a two-tone color in here, so this is another good contender that we found, and this is probably the best one we found so far. So we are uh, literally winning the lottery here today at uh, our little junkyard visit. So uh, we're gonna keep looking, but John thinks we're probably gonna go ahead and pull this one out from this truck. This is an extended cab too. So it's got the uh, split back window here, which I've always found interesting. I've kind of always liked this uh, style cab of these trucks, so. We're uh, making good progress today. This is a good yard that we came to because as you can see, we got probably thousands of cars we can pick from. So we're bound to find something good here. Even if it's a few things, even if it's not everything, we're still bound to find most of what we need. So good day to be here today. So we found this black truck right here. Well, it's actually red, but um, it was painted black, and as you can see, it's got a pretty decent red interior. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this out right now. Um, as you can see, the dashboard here is a pretty, pretty good shape. So John is going to go ahead and start dismantling all this to remove the cover. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, cop this nice dashboard. So we're gonna go ahead and get the other trim that's in here as well. And uh, he's most likely, uh, He's leaning towards converting the interior to red, so I think it works pretty well, considering it's a black truck, red interior. It's very era specific, and it's just aggressive, and it's nice and clean, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this off right now. All right, so we got a dashboard here that we got out of that red truck that I showed you guys earlier. It's upside down, so you can't really tell, but it is there. We got some heater core, heater box components, and then this is some of the interior trim for the, that goes on both sides of the dashboard there. This is right near each door. Some trim, but there's our little dashboard right there. It's a pretty big piece. But uh, this is gonna look so cool when uh, John swaps it out with this uh, black and tan one that he has here. So it's gonna look pretty good. So we got quite a few parts, some miscellaneous parts. We got a clock here, some cables, some Jeep mirrors, so. Yeah, we got quite a few things, but we're gonna head back and uh, get more parts, actually. So, uh, we're gonna keep grabbing as much as we can while we're here. All right, so we got a few more parts for John's truck, as you can see. More interior trim. So, basically, he's gonna go ahead and paint all of this red and we'll have a nice matching interior set. So, junkyard's about to close, so we're gonna pay for this stuff and be on our way out. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. You can always score some decent parts from the junkyard. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram, at Thank you very much, and take care.